He's just released his debut album, Coulda, Shoulda, Woulda, from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Please welcome vintage pop crooner here to say you saw him on the Marilyn Dennis show, Matt Forbes. <laughs> In Halifax, uh, and, and there you are. The friends are outside playing, and you're listening to Frank Sinatra. That's right. I'm up in the attic singing Weatherwise, such a cuckoo day. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> like all 12 year olds. Like, well, yeah, well, that's kind of, is it a record collection that your family had? Or yeah, you, you know, yeah. I, I was surrounded when I was younger with a lot of Billie Holiday and, and Frank Sinatra and Bobby Darin. I mean, they were also playing Beatles and Fleetwood Mac and David sure, Bowie. Too, sure. So yeah. it, uh, but I gravitated towards that Sinatra sound. I think always because I had that lower voice. You, so when you were a baby, you were saying, Mom, yeah, that's right. And I actually, I get, I get the voice from the mom. You do? Does your mother have a low voice? She has a very low voice. Wow, that's good. Yeah, that's it a has good that, broadcasting voice. You know it that. Is. Yes. They say she should be on radio. She has that B. Arthur bottom end. Oh, I like yeah. that. I like that. Yeah. Not her bottom end. It's the bottom end. No, no, no. We, would, we would say. <laughs> Just in case, what no, 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 that's clarification. Good. That's good to clarify. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's talk about that with the classics that are on this coulda, shoulda, what Because right. this is kind of cool. You got to pick what you wanted to, 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 to hear. That's right, yeah. And you got to work with some outstanding musicians. So talk to us about that. Yeah, no, it's amazing. This is a collection of vintage pop, so yeah. we have everything from Beyond the Sea to I Get a Kick Out of You, oh, but yeah. some obscure things like Gloomy Sunday. Um, and, and they're all songs that tell great stories, you know, from the yeah, great American song. Yeah, for sure. And uh, so we recorded at Capitol Studios. Just like Frank Sinatra did. Yeah, actually, oh, there I am. There you are. And who are the musicians? I know, hello. Good and smooth. But, you know, but the name, but the name of Ron Jones came up. And tell everybody right. who he is. Yeah, Ron Jones is um, he, he's, he's an amazing film and TV composer for Family Guy, American Dad, Star Trek, Next Generation. So he works with Seth MacFarlane. The Family Guy. Yeah, yeah. who's got a huge musical background yeah. himself. Seth huge. is in musical theater and everything, yeah. Yeah, yeah. amazing yeah. talent. Yeah. So Seth was getting kind of busy doing TED and all that stuff. So he said, Ron came into my materials and he said, you're kind of Seth-like, why don't you come sing with the band? Wow. So this was a couple of years ago. And it kind of started a happy marriage. And, and I got to know some of these legendary studio musicians right. that, uh, that play in his band and record for Family Guy. That's Fox. so cool. Were you channeling Frank, though? Yeah, you Because, I mean, that's exactly where yeah. Frank, You know, Frank, the Capitol days, he had, had the hat on. Yeah, and I left the hat door. at home. But you know, that, mainly, you don't Well, you got good hair. hair. Frank, <laughs> as much hair. as I love Frank, Frank did not have hair. He didn't have a lot no. of hair towards the end. Anyway. He had some beautiful pieces by the yeah, end. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Now, um, let me ask you this. He is, he's, it's 100. Uh, anniversary of That's his right. birthday. Centennial. So, so what do you got? You, this is 2016. So what are you going to be doing about so that? So I'm actually here in Toronto. I'm very excited. I'm yeah. doing a, a big concert at Kerner Hall on December 12th, very Frank's cool. birthday. Yeah. With uh, an all-star Canadian lineup. And That's so nice. Yeah, we'll be bringing in Frank on his birthday. And what about the Christmas thing that you did? Yeah, and we're re-releasing. We, we put together a Christmas EP. It was the first thing we recorded at Capitol uh, Studios, uh, the 12 minutes of Christmas. So there's 12 minutes of, oh, there I am. It look, Again, and it looks like you're having a like good I'm time. Yeah. yeah. Well, you. Yeah, I gotta ask <laughs> you something. Well, and I, like, it, it looks like with such ease that you're doing, it, and you're li really doing the song. Yeah. And were you like, <laughs> were you like, saying to yourself, "Oh my gosh, I'm really here. I'm really doing it." No, this. it's one of those pinch me moments, much like today. You know, sitting across from an icon like Marilyn Dennis. <laughs> oh, we'll be back. <laughs> I'm going to sing. I'll sing. Yeah, I said to Matt, I'm yelling to Matt because we, we're running out of show here, Matt, but sure. you have got to come back and sing. Oh, I'll bring for the band. Crying out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, bring I mean, the Frank what... Mike from Capitol. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, everyone is going to go home with copies of Matt's, of two of Matt's albums, Coulda, Shoulda, Woulda, and 12 Minutes of Christmas. Don't forget that name. Matt Forbes, everybody. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. We've got to talk more about Frank yeah. next time. We have to say goodbye. Have a great day. Bye. Tomorrow on Maryland, avoid holiday party awkwardness with Charles the Butler.